the first trail cam capture was posted on July 11th of 2019 by the Minnesota Hunting Club Facebook page with the caption, one of the coolest trail cam pictures ever taken. And I can't say that I disagree as the image depicts a rare sight of a buck next to a field watching as a firework is shot off in the distance as a 4th of July celebration. The buck even seems to admire the bright colors in the distance. 10 seconds to identify this mystery animal starting now. If you said that this animal was the rare fisher, then you would be correct. The fishers are a carnivorous critter. They are of comparable size to a domestic cat, with the largest ever weighing in at around 20 pounds. This map shows us the fishers' range, which is predominantly in Canada and in northern sections of the United States. The fisher is easily identifiable because of its large bushy tail and its short legs. But a sighting of one is rare except for in northeastern sections of the United States. The next trail cam capture was posted on August 29, 2014 by the Ducks, Dogs, and Double D's Facebook page. With the caption, Anybody take duck trail cam pics? The image shows a large gathering or flock of ducks, which is commonly as a result of them trying to overwhelm a potential predator. In larger numbers, the chances of survival increase. The behaviors and patterns of these animals are definitely interesting to say the least. This next trail cam capture was posted on September 21st of 2017 by the Bucks, Bulls, and Bears Facebook page and depicts something on two legs, bipedal. Some have suggested it to be something far less mundane than the regular fauna, but if you look closely, you will notice a very defining characteristic, its claws. The claws on whatever this is, is definitely a telltale sign that this is merely a bear. And here is a picture of a bear claw, for example. There are definitely similarities, and we know that bears will travel on two feet if their foot is injured. Perhaps you don't believe it's a bear. Tell me what you think it is down in the comment section below. Next up is this image of an albino deer. The original source is down in the link in the description below. Albino deer are rare, and they are only 1 in 30,000 according to some of the latest estimates. Meaning that a sighting, much less a trocam picture of one, is very rare. This albino deer in particular has a lack of any color pigments. But its nose is similar to Rudolph. That's because of the blood vessels near the edge of the skin. It's definitely an extremely interesting perk of Mother Nature. This next one was posted on September 11, 2017 by Nicole Dominic with the Facebook post caption stating, Found on Trocam. I don't actually believe in them, but this had me convinced that I could possibly be wrong. In the enhanced version of the trocam image, we notice a characteristic, a hairy forearm, which could definitely be part of a bear, a black bear in particular, but the forearm is definitely evident, and we also notice what is either part of its shoulder or maybe even part of its head, as if it's bent down. I personally believe the trocam photograph to be inconclusive, but let me know what you think it is down in the comment section below. This trocam image is from July 18th of 2013 and was taken in the state of Virginia and has been controversial ever since it was posted. 
featured on my channel once before. Some have suggested that it's an escaped chimpanzee, while others say it's just merely a bear with mange. A characteristic that many have noticed is by far the curved and defined elbow that the unknown creature possesses. And the enhanced version of the trail cam image shows us a better view of the shaggy hair hanging down from its back. And in correspondence to its curved elbow, a curved knee as well. If you can identify this controversial unknown creature, let me know down in the comment section below. The following is a couple of captures from one of our camera traps located at some of our own personal ground. And the clarity and detail of these captures may actually shock you. First up is this image of a coyote looking straight at our camera. Taken on an early brisk morning, the coyote seems to be still drowsy and even has a little bit of a sleepy look to his eyes. The lighting reveals this beautiful coyote perfectly. And in this one, at first glance, there's nothing at all, but watch as a big blue turkey's head comes into view on the bottom right corner of the screen. It's right next to the camera, but seems oblivious to it. But in this next image, we see what is presumably the same turkey, just a better view of it and at a later time. The turkey appears to be a younger one and possibly this year's hatchings. After exploring some of our area, I discovered what appeared to be a hidden den that was underneath a big root wad. As it comes into view, you will notice just how deep this den goes and how dark it is, but trust me, the video does no justice. And it's conveniently positioned next to a pawpaw fruit patch, and I can tell you that whatever it is has been staying under there during these hot, late summer days. And the warmer than average temperatures have been contributing to an unprecedented drought in our area. And the drought is clearly depicted here as an area that once held water is now bone dry, which subsequently results in the ground and the soft soil breaking up. This area has held water for many decades without ever drying up, which tells you the severity of this particular drought. And for reference of what it used to look like, here is a comparison from two years ago and what it looks like today. The water levels used to reach the tree that is depicted on the right side of both images, but now there's not a drop of water in sight. And in some small, isolated areas, water is still being held on the back side where hundreds of dead fish float atop the surface as the water does not contain enough oxygen for the fish to breathe. Some of these dead fish will decompose over time, while others will be taken off into the woods by scavenging animals. But I'm curious as to whether the conditions are like this where you live. Let me know down in the comments section below. And in the meantime, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.